Burkina Faso military regime signed nuclear power plant agreement with Russia government. Hello, great viewers and subscribers. Welcome to my channel. The nuclear power plant D was square to talk between Burkina Faso military leader Ibrahim Taure and the Russian president Vladimir Putin in July during the Russian African summit. The Burkina Faso military regime has signed an agreement with the Russian government for the construction of a nuclear power plant in the West African country. The Faso military authority announced the signing of the D with Russia on Friday, saying that it would cover the energy need of the population which less than quarter are said to have access to electricity in the country. The nuclear power plant D was square to talk between Burkina Faso's military leader Ibrahim Taure and the Russia president Vladimir Putin in July during the Russia African summit. Now, during the meeting, Taure has requested Putin's report, support, I mean, in setting up a nuclear power plant in Burkina Faso, which according to him would help the country to meet its energy demands. The John Tiny press statement released on Friday and quoted by Barros stated that we have a critical need for energy. This is an important point for me because we need it, if possible, to build a nuclear power station in Burkina Faso to produce electricity. Our position is rather strategic because we are in the heart of West Africa and we have an energy deficit in the sub-region. Sir Reporter has reported only weeks ago that the Faso Junta said it averted the West African region's latest counter-coup attempt, saying its intelligence and security service blocked an effort to plunge our country into shores. Officials had disclosed that the proven coup attempt was thwarted even as the military government confirmed this in a statement without identifying any of the suspected plotters or giving details on how the conspirators tried to carry out their takeover. Unidentified military officers and their accomplices had the dark intention of attacking the institution of the Republic of the Government, said. The incident came and foreign media reports of rising tension with, within Burkina Faso armed forces. At present, officers and other alleged participants in the destabilization attempt have been arrested and others have been actively sought, official had noted. You know, sometimes I wonder why people who always like to try a good man. Since this man came into office, he has done great things just to make sure that his people are safe. This is because he loves his people. Now he has also made a plan with the Russia government. just to make sure that a nuclear power plant is installed in their country to enable them to have excess light and every other thing that they need. This is to show you that this man has done great. This is a 35 years old president, a young man. Why the old men who are criminally minded, both in Nigeria and every other part of African country are busy doing all sorts of atrocities just to loot the people. This gentleman is busy doing the right thing for his people. Moving around, looking for a way to establish their country. That is what is sustainable. That is what is important. It's not about who is sitting in the presidential Domain is about 
what you can be able to achieve what you are capable of doing good things that you are capable of doing that is the problem that is the thing that we should be talking about but people don't like good things that is why they try to overthrow him just of recent this man has not only met Burkina Faso people proud, he has made Africans proud. And such man, God will always be with him. Allah will always stand by him. Not like Nigeria, we have since 62 years or more than that, if I'm not mistaken. Nothing has ever worked out. Even the whole resources we have Ibos has done everything possible to make sure that Nigeria works out. But nothing. Because why? Because two set of people have been ruling Nigeria to date, to then, from then to date. And they have not anything tangible to show for it. Because why? Because it has always been them and their families and their friends looting the treasury of Nigerians. Stealing the money meant for the infrastructure. Stealing their resources, their God given resources. And when you speak, you will be in trouble. Because nobody wants anybody to talk about it. Because we, it's like the good people we have in Nigeria are less than the bad, evil people we have. But it's quite unfortunate. In a country where a man without certificate, Buhari, a man who was a terrorist, ruled Nigeria for. Two years. Later on, he came back as a ghost and ruled Nigeria for six years. Are we talking about Tinibu? Who is not ruling Nigeria? A man who came into our faith through dubious way. No certificate, nothing, no paper to show for it. He never clicked him into office. And whenever anybody speaks about it, you see them. They will start castigating you, applying to do you one thing or the other. But they know who they will do downstairs with. In this new generation, we are supposed to be talking about great leaders who are capable, who are qualified to do the right thing. Not criminals who push drugs. Not criminals who was a terrorist, like his vice, who was a terrorist. You know, he planned with his, some terrorists to kidnap your guests. Not a vice president who was caught in tab, planning coup how to destroy some ethnic ethnicity upon that the court didn't see that as anything they didn't see that as anything upon that they left him to become a vice president of nigeria <laughs> is it not obvious that both the judiciary of nigeria and everything is just jago constitution indeed the same constitution that the so far plan is made with the help of euro bass was there when they made that constitution that is what we are saying here but the question is, when will this end? This is what is happening. It's good you, when you voice out. When bad things is happening, voice out is better than when you don't want to voice out. This was what happened a few years ago. When our great leader, Mazen Nam Kala Kano, came out openly on air to announce one never do well as one of us. In fact, the way he did it, he made it possible for, for people to follow him. Some of us were aware that he was bad news, but we kept quiet. Because we were so much in love with him, and we trusted him and everything he did. We still trust him because he has not done anything wrong. It's just that those who he introduced are the ones doing wrong things, making sure that him them get him. Making sure that he remain in this custody, making sure that he die in this custody, so that they will continue to use their first struggle to make money, because that's the only thing they came here to do. They will tell you today that they will do this, they will do that. All is lies. With the money that people have contributed, if only they believe so much in the military, believe me, if they have five hundred thousand military in Ibo land, it's small thing. 
but they will showcase some small small boys about few few boys that is not even out of 20 boys amateurs they will use it to tell people all the time the whole money they have made since two years and now going they are not satisfied with it this is because we did not voice out some of us could not voice out when that thing was being introduced to our people but some of us knows him so well because why because we are trying to bend them the can but let's assume we have voiced out all Nandika would have done is as usual have a conversation with us that is what a great leader should do and that is what Nandika has always done an argument he will tell you why he should be and why what he said is the fact and what, why it should be this why it should be that if at the process you want him, he will stop. But if you, he want you, you will leave the argument the way it is. At least you will know that you have that out. But we did not. Some of us did not. Why some did? But today, they are the people trying everything possible to keep in DSS custody. There is nothing they have not done. But that is not what I want to discuss now. What I'm saying in essence is this. In Nigeria we have bad governance. Whenever you have good governance, people will always look for a way to remove him. Just like what is happening in the state now. And this something is what they plan to do the gentleman here in Faso. Gentleman there in Faso mean. Because why? Because they know he's doing everything possible to make sure that his people, his people live peacefully, achieve better height. So that is it. But time shall tell. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra.